Hello everyone. Welcome to Zimwatch TV, your trusted source for political news and stories from around the world. So, please subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell. Join us for political analysis, commentary, and in-depth coverage of the latest developments in politics and beyond. Monzora slams General Sanyatwe's controversial statement as unconstitutional. Harare Douglas Monzora, the leader of the Movement for Democratic Change MDC, has lambasted General Sanyatwe's recent statement as unconstitutional, irresponsible, and totally unacceptable. In a strongly worded post on X, Monzora emphasized that the Constitution explicitly prohibits serving members of the security services from engaging in partisan politics. General Sanyatwe's statement, which has been circulating on social media, has sparked outrage and concern among Zimbabweans, who see it as a brazen attempt to undermine the country's democratic processes. Monzora's response has been widely praised for its clarity and firmness in the face of military intimidation. This is unconstitutional, irresponsible, and totally unacceptable, Monzora declared. Our constitution makes it clear that serving members of the security services must never be involved in partisan politics. We can never accept command voting under any circumstances. Monzora's statement has resonated with many Zimbabweans, who are fed up with the military's interference in politics. The MDC leader's courage in speaking out against General Sanyatwe's statement has inspired hope among citizens who are eager to see an end to military intimidation and a return to democratic norms. The controversy surrounding General Sanyatwe's statement has sparked a national debate about the role of the military in politics. Many have called for the security services to remain neutral and apolitical, as mandated by the Constitution. Monzora's stance has also been endorsed by other opposition parties and civil society organizations, who have praised his leadership and commitment to democratic principles. As the political fallout continues, Zimbabweans are watching with bated breath to see how the situation unfolds. Will General Sanyatwe's statement be exposed as a hollow threat? Or will the military succeed in its bid to intimidate the electorate? One thing is certain, Douglas Monzora's courageous stance has ignited a firestorm of debate and resistance against military interference in politics.